Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, lots of things happening uh, since yesterday with Windows 11. So of course if you are or want to do so, you might see Windows 11 um, version 2022 update available for you as this is the new update, the new big um, feature update that um, Microsoft is pushing or what I call Windows 11 2.0. But if you're not there, you also might have seen another thing, uh, C-band updates that have appeared. So if you go into your Windows updates, you might have seen that there's a optional update for Windows 11, which is the release, the preview release for bug fixes, which is the C-band updates that are available for Windows 11 on the first version. So if you're not on 22H2, you um, have an update that brings your version to build 22,000.1042. It um, does a few things, adds more dynamic widget content to the taskbar. So this is what you see here with the weather and all of that. So there's more information that can be popping up there uh, for once. Uh, there are mostly bug fixes, so um, a lot of them that are shared with Windows 10. Um, I, Internet Explorer mode uh, has an issue when you open a PDF file. Um, sometimes there forces an I, uh, Internet Explorer mode tabs in a session to reload. There's a blue screen of that that can occur when you change the display mode when you're using more than one display. That is one of the things that is fixed in here. Uh, there's a few issues about um, also the keyboard, touch keyboard, and the way that you know, the apps work and so on. And um, there's also another issue if you've updated from uh, Windows 10 to Windows 11, for example. Uh, Microsoft Store apps might need to be reinstalled. It's a bug, apparently. So if you did not get the app from the Microsoft Store also, uh, there could be an issue where you're required to reinstall an app um, if uh, you upgrade to um, a, a later version. That's pretty much it. There's not a big list of bug fixes in this. Uh, they are almost identical to Windows 10. So that is also interesting because there could be some new stuff that uh, are fixed in here. So uh, for sure, but they are also addressing other uh, issues uh, with FIDO2 authentication problems, uh, one with uh, the uh, graphics drivers problems that could be a problem there. Um, they're addressing uh, some issues with group policies also. There's Windows Defender application control path rules that are a problem when, um, when PowerShell scripts are running or prevents them from running, basically. So there's a lot of other little thing. Uh, there's an issue with the logon user interface that stops working. You cannot dismiss the lock screen or view your credential screen. So uh, lots of little things here address an issue with uh, Microsoft OneDrive and so on. So it is still a list of updates, but um, not as big as in the past. If you had some issues, why not go in? You know, check for updates. They are optional. Optional, once again, is a big word because it's going to be installed anyways when you get to Patch Tuesday in October. But if you have issues, you might want to try and install it. And um, at the same time, you might see that Windows 11 is also offering you um, the October, the, not the October, but the 2022 update or 22H2 so, you know, you can move there if you want to move there also. Uh, 22H2 does not have the release preview bug fixing updates. Uh, they're probably already included in it. So uh, don't look for that if you're already on 22H2. But it's really for just 21H2, the build 22,000. So the ending should be 1042 if you're up to date in Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.